What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today we're going to look at which technique is better, hook or top roll. So first of all, there aren't such thing as best technique. There are athletes who use their technique better than other athletes. Every week I receive messages from guys that are asking me, so on which day should I train hook, on which day should I train top roll, and I'm like, like, why do you need both? At some points I was just like thinking like, why is this happening? Why people want to have everything? Why do they want train top row on one day and hook on the other and pull in each direction. And then I understand they're sitting on their computer, on their phone and watching videos of John Brzenk and Devon Larratt, guys that have everything. They have great hook, they have great top roll, they have everything. And everyone wants to be like them. They're looking at sports like MMA and like, okay, in MMA you need Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, you need Muay Thai, you need boxing, kickboxing. And they're like, okay, I want to be like, all around well-rounded thing is if you train something 50 percent you're not getting more than 50 percent everyone in arm wrestling started with one good technique they had this one thing that's theirs and they've evolved around it let's say you have one really good technique let's say you have really good top roll improve around it make it better than everyone else make it best in the world then you don't need hook like like if you find weaknesses in your technique work on those weaknesses uh, find ways to win. If you get injured, then you can switch up the hook. Because most of the guys that had really good one technique, they get injured in that technique and then change it around and uh, after they came back from injury. So mostly everyone is working on their strongest point. If you're working around, let's say your, your hook is real shit, like you don't need hook, just focus on one thing. Same thing is in martial art. You cannot practice 500 kicks and just think that you're gonna be master at all of them. You can practice five, 10, and slowly increase your, your basically your vocabulary of, of moves. So for everyone who's confused, like which technique should I use? Step on table, close your eyes, and when someone says pull, just pull. If you're going a little bit inside, this is your technique. If you're going more on top row position, this is your technique. This is how we work with new guys. If someone comes in, it doesn't matter. They have uh, long, short arms, it, it doesn't matter. What's in their brain already, the pathways that are working, we're gonna work around them. If they come and they just like get in hook as soon as they can, we're gonna work on hook. If someone just uh, doesn't know what they're doing, doesn't feel anything, we're gonna work on top roll. Top roll, in my opinion, is more technical. It helps you understand how to pull, how to use your wrist, not just press inside. If someone has like really good press, we're gonna work on it, but mostly if, if you just, uh, if you're undecided, we're gonna work on top roll. My advice in all of this is just stick to one technique. Don't do everything. Don't try to be MMA fighter, be an arm wrestler, just have Really good hook, really good top roll, and work around it. Just don't try to do everything. The guys that have all these techniques and they can use all these techniques on table, they evolve. They, they didn't go from like one day top roll, one day hook. They practice things, but they mostly will do one thing that's working better for them. That you can practice a little bit of hook mo motion when you're good on top roll. You can practice a little bit of top roll when you're in hook but just stick to one thing, get better at it. It will be more beneficial for you, for your arm wrestling career than anything else, than doing 100 different things. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more, and uh, stay strong and love arm wrestling.